Hey guys, what we've got here is our Artec uh, Weld on Arms and the hardware we have that sets up a high steer misalignment or high misalignment on the drag link. It is a lot of little spacers and, and things like that. So we wanted to kind of show you, this is how the kit will come to you with these spacers in it. And then I want to show the assembly of both arms. This is the driver side arm. Uh, so we're going to show the assembly of that. I'm going to pull all these parts off of the bolt. And I want to leave them laid out in the order that they were. And we're going to take the heim and these two right here are going to go into the heim to create a 5 8 pass through on this heim and also a low misalignment for our tie rod. So we're going to take these and they're going to go in here. These spacers are required because our tech uses a three quarter inch pass through. We're going to go to 5 8 on our heims. So we're going to use these to reduce those pass throughs. You got one on top, one on bottom, like such. Those slide into there. They also create a washer for our bolt at that point. So, and then we're gonna need one here to reduce our hole here in the center plate that you've left floating while you're welding together. So then we're gonna take our spacer and apply our spacer and put our bolt in just temporarily to get us set up. Then the spacing is just slightly larger than these. So we're gonna use a washer to offset that and we're going to put our heim down in and it'll be a little tight because you're welding and that kind of thing so you're gonna have to kind of push it down in there or push the part into the hole to get it down in there depending on if you shrunk you could use you could take that washer out and not use this washer if you don't need it in this case we may not need it because of the setup we have so we're gonna take this and because our spacing is right in this one we're gonna do this without the washer and that's our heim tie rod setup so that we have a 5 8 pass through bolt we use a fine thread grade 8 bolt with a fine thread locking nut on it and this is not a nylock this is a stover tile style top lock that's how the assembly of your driver's side is going to look. We have very low misalignment for low flop in our tie rod. We're going to walk over here to our passenger side, which we're going to do both our offset heim as well as our straight heim. And what we've done is created the only high misalignment kit on the market. And so what we're going to do, is we're going to use these spacers again in the, in the plating and in the top plate to reduce to a 5 8 we're going to apply our, our misalignments to our offset chromoly heim. And then we're going to slide that into its spacing. We're going to do that first with our supply bolt, our supplied nut. And that will give you your offset with a super high misalignment on the drag length. To set up the spacing on the tie rod, we're going to do the same thing we did on the other side. Move everything off of here. We don't need to remove that one off the bolt, actually. So we're going to come through here. This one is going to be placed into there. Again, on the same thing there. And then we've got to set up your heims with your misalignments. You can do that on your tie rod before you install so that you're ready to go. This side was a little different in spacing, so we're going to put our spacer in the bottom which is our washer and we're going to run this down in here with our grade 8 washer slide that together and that's going to set up our complete passenger side arm again fine threads um, this needs to sit down in there and seat we'll get that seated if as we tighten it in, it'll seat down in there. You could have preceded that, but that's how all these spacers go in there. You'll notice we have very low misalignment on our tie rod, very wo low wobble. And then our drag link is a full two inch high misalignment spread. And so you get a full two inch spread of high misalignment for travel in the suspension. That's how to assemble this. We'll also send some pictures in the instructions. Thanks guys.